Good afternoon again. Ralph E. Hartman here on the Benita Road side. Here on the ranch parkway. You know, uh, as I said before, there is an ongoing matter, a lot of ongoing matters actually, and uh, I was just interrupted again by another man who uses traffic uh, broadcasting who acts he acted concerned again saying, there's those Marines, Ralph. And, uh, excuse me, I just waved the bus back. You know, um, I want to say this right now, try to make this as clear as possible. I know that there's been previous messages about the matter. Uh, the, the Marine argument is pervasive, and they interrupt me when I say the word is. He, he voice over and says the word is through my throat. And I'm absolutely against the matter. And they, but they're a, a limited, uh, a limited difficulty because of of uh, the abuse family in operation. In other words, they uh, actually maliciously invaded into me when I was a kid, positioning on false secret accusation of me doing something nasty with another boy. Now, they used all of their various rich influence to subvert, to gradually gain position, to gain various authority positions using, uh, uh, using the matter, and, uh, and kind of following me uh, changing, uh, changing details around to suit themselves because of just their specifically gay orientation, and it got so bad that they became pervasive. They act representation, uh, representative of me, but they always, always subvert against me uh, ever gaining any kind of uh, place to live. Uh, they, they build up uh, various, uh, you know, kind of like legends associated with this. But they're always of, uh, of wanting to uh, isolate me from any mainstream activity. Uh, pertaining to the uh, Marines argument, it's a really a, a difficult matter, you know. We're talking about a military service of hundreds of thousands of individuals, a million or more veterans. And uh, uh, when I, whenever I'm seen having to talk back at the few that uh, 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 argue and et cetera from the operation, there's only uh, hopefully a few involved. But they occupy all, you know, all, uh, you know, all various, you know, time. They, they use up a lot of time, you know, and uh, uh, they cause arguing uh, and uh, uh, all kinds of difficulties because of concealing themselves in the uh, traffic broadcast and transferring into uh, residences, getting into air conditioning systems, transferring from traffic, uh, broadcasting from traffic through open doors. Uh, getting loud in the sounds of airlines. You know, that detail probably specifically originates from the former SIP fatherhood and aircraft parts business. You know, it's been an ongoing matter for many years. Uh, it's, it's a very difficult matter because they like to argue and provoke, though they themselves are never on any, uh, uh, on any scene that I'm on. They also say the same using usual gaze to say uh, the particular argument on store music systems. You know, they sometimes uh, they insert uh, musically uh, to sing the main argument on public music systems and other music systems uh, sometimes, you know, 20 or more times in a visit. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little bit of a scratchy throat. <coughs> you know, some of their arguments are really mean. And uh, personally, I've never done anything violent to anyone. You know, I was a good uh, technician when I, when I was in the Navy, but I was never trained uh, pertaining to infantry combat or anything like that. But those that the SWAT wanted to usurp all time by, you know, getting into trouble, uh, interrupting and saying there's Marines or there's Marine, you know, or whatever, is that they're liars. And they're from a push and shove kind of a uh, 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 hidden family that is used to always getting their way, used to always usurping, using to arguing at me technically, even in the formulation of words as I speak. So it is a, a matter of suffering, a very experiencing a very pervasive kind of interference. I'm telling you the truth, that while all of these reports that, have to, that require a lot of detail, a lot of various detail, a lot of various subjects, a lot of various actions, are subverted by some who just simply repeat the word Marines about anything. Any subject, that might include a lot of detail that is necessary to the people is simply set aside by saying the word Marines. To say it again, to pinch your nose in a way and say it again, to argue it in at your throat and, and then say things like, you know, what your father once did or what your father said that you were supposed to do or what you did one time and all those kind of arguments. 
doesn't have anything to do with academics, doesn't have anything to do with any legitimate religion, doesn't have anything to do with any legitimacy of any military service. It's simply a bunch of stupid harassment. Now, I don't insult people about uh, their uh, various, uh, you know, thinking abilities or whatever. I'm always respectful of everyone. But the, uh, 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 the uh, interference that I experience is deliberately counterproductive, deliberately disruptive, always wanting to cause uh, uh, provocations, for example. Like if I'm waiting on a bus stop, a person, I greet a person, somebody else who arrives to the bus stop nicely. The others, excuse me. The others from the uh, traffic sound start interrupting to say, there's the Marines. They're like, don't touch it. You know, don't get near them. There's the Marines. You know, and if we barely wanted to, uh, you know, interrupt that somebody else is speaking, if there's a nice lady that I'm just being nice to, you know, it's really a difficult matter. It's probably a police matter, but the, uh, the offenders are never on the scene. They always disrupt from traffic broadcasting, sometimes from car radios, but they do cause very identifiable, uh, I, I, you know, identifiable difficulties. If one of the overt participants happens to be the former stepfather. It's been more than a year since I delivered a very carefully worded and detailed written type uh, complaint to the Sheriff's de Department over on Cattle Ridge. It was multiple pages, but not too many, uh, citing the uh, complaint against uh, William B. Love and, his, and various associates of his. I still haven't received any reply about it, but I believe that many of the department are uh, working on matters as well as they can. A problem is, as has been said by the various participants, is they had kind of a jump on me. Is in other words, they started one time my mother said, when we installed this into your head when you were a baby, we had kind of a jump on you. And uh, when I was on a train in California, she reminded me of that by getting into the sound of the train, the uh, uh, Coast Starlight train uh, heading north out of Los Angeles. Getting into the bus sound, uh, no, in the sound of the train saying, wanting to sound spooky about it, saying, this hematoma found, this hematoma found, this hematoma found, you know, about bloody head uh, uh, wound about the, uh, uh, when I was a baby. So anyway, other people experience the same, uh, certainly others have experienced the same uh, medical kind of procedure, but they don't necessarily experience the loud and uh, uh, various same affectations. So anyway, as a, matter of way, uh, as a matter of fact, you might have heard that, as I said that just now, that uh, a woman wanted to very arrogantly, egotistically repeat, repeat the words, this hematoma found in North of your traffic sound, with other words uh, indicating like, if we install this into you when you were so young, if you think that we're going to accept anything from you that uh, disagrees with it, you're, you're, you know, so they're very egotistical abuse. And they, all, they frequently tout attitudes against many others. So anyway, I don't want to use up any more time about this right now, just to say that uh, I'm somebody who is our, for our nation being safe. Keeping the nation safe requ requires the ver various armed forces. But the task is supposed to be the protection of the people, domestically and elsewhere. Their, their task isn't to cause uh, senseless loud disturbances and traffic broadcasting. They aren't supposed to get into booming sounds of airliners flying over. People are supposed to have good protection from the military, and uh, talking against a few offenders isn't a matter of talking against everything of the U.S. service, as the same uh, offenders like to portray me as. You know, when, they say, when I say the word enemy, Air angrily against an abuse criminal, it doesn't mean that I'm saying the word enemy against anyone else ever, anywhere. So they like to promote and cause misunderstanding because I'm forced to have to testify in public out on the roadside while they themselves are secreting themselves and widely off operates but not heard by passers by in cars, you know, traffic broadcasting. So I'm hoping that all good and loyal members of all of the various armed forces are safe and secure, and that they have leadership that doesn't want to squander them, that wants to, uh, <clears throat> wants to uh, make sure that the people are safe, whether they're on ships, or on shore positions, or on aircraft, and that are working to uh, patrol for peace, to maintain sensible regulation, to maintain sensible organization, to maintain places that are peaceful, 
main, maintain peace places where there's peace to maintain the peace to help support the people maintaining the peace on behalf of their local people's uh, security and to uh, uh, better uh, consider uh, evidence of others uh, using their official positions in and out of the military in subversive ways trying to provoke and cause difficulties where there would have otherwise con been continued peace. So anyway, with that uh, matter in mind, I hope everyone's going to continue uh, safely today that matters elsewhere will uh, soon begin to be resolved better and that lives will be saved and have a good weekend.